Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this uh, is the Brian's Optic 2 arm, chest and arm, like arm mobility and how it fits with gloves. Uh, so if there's gloves interference. I realized I did this for the Warrior G5, so I wanted to go back and do it for all of the other chests I have just so it would be a fair comparison. You can see the differences. Um, so first of all, before I really get started, these side pillows, I kind of mentioned, I think I mentioned them before. Um, I find that when I kind of Go like this it pushes them forward like the chest forward so and you can hopefully kind of see that um so i take these out this one doesn't have it only the left one did i did uh another video on like basically how this looks in the net i did with jersey without jersey and it's all of them all the chest and arms together as well as reverse vh coverage um so that will be up as well have all the chests i currently have in one video um but this one is for the optic to arms and like just how it fits with gloves. Um, this, I'm pretty impressed with this chest protector to be honest. Also, I guess one other thing before I forget, I did adjust these to the lowest settings um, because it was like the only way to get the chest to pull up as much as I wanted to. And even then there was like a lot of head getting in the way. You really have to stick your head forward to not get hit with the floaters. Um, so anyways, I guess we'll start here now. Um, the arms are now adjusted to basically their smallest setting and I found it kind of to be the best. Um, at their normal default one for me, they're Velcroable, that pop out type thing. So the normal one for me is a bit too long and it was interfering with the gloves. This one is about the right size in terms of like length for the glove interference, everything like that. Um, arm mobility is pretty good. So these are stiff. These are way stiffer than the Warriors, but Warrior deserves credit because it's on a whole different level. Um, but this is, this is, a little bit stiffer than my brown, but my brown's like five years old, so it's broken in. This obviously is not broken in yet. This broken in, I'm sure, will be excellent. Um, the arms are pretty impressive on these. I like the like what Brian did with did with them. Again, they're not warrior, but they're pretty good. And then touching your head is fine. But the big difference with that, I don't feel it's a really good test because when you do this, the whole upper kind of lifts with it. So that's why some like my brown and my Kineski has more of a problem because it doesn't lift when you do this and it kind of stays put where this does lift up. So, but I mean, that is still the arm movement is really good. Um, again, a little stiff, but still good. And it's definitely gonna break in more. So it's pretty impressive for that. So we'll throw on the gloves and we'll look at um, like interference. So that's where you can see how deep it goes. Before I had problems with this kind of interfering with the pull right there. Um, no issues right now. It's really good. It's in there pretty good. Again, I did take a couple pucks right here on my JRZ with the brown just because the cuff is a bit smaller. So I'm curious to see if that would be better in this one. It does look like it would be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, arm movement is good. No interference. Like nothing on the float, on the elbows. Nothing on there. Really good once it's adjusted. Really good. Like really good for gloves and everything like that. So if the pattern holds up, it should be good. Again, I don't get to use these on ice. So I can't speak of how protective they are. Um, Brian says that it's what the pros wear. They don't get anything special. I don't trust really any word from a company until, no offense, Brian's, until I use something on the ice myself. Um, cause talk is cheap, um, in my opinion. So I've seen a lot of companies say that and then you take it out. It's not true. So I can't comment on protection on this one cause I'm not going to be able to wear it, but our mobility is really good. It's obviously very like, huge in the shoulder. So it takes up a lot of space and zero interference with gloves once it's adjusted properly. So that's a kind of a plus on, on compared to the Warrior there. Um, so that's about it for this Optic 2 chest. I have the kind of initial dive of it. Or, okay, so that's about it of the Optic 2 chest. I have the initial look of it uh, in a separate video that I'll link in the description at the end of here. This one's more for the arm mobility and kind of how the gloves work because I kind of forgot about that. Um, so yeah, I have a couple more videos of this coming out for kind of just the shape and how much net it takes up. And I think that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to like uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon to get notified when I make new content. If you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please let the manufacturers know. It uh, helps me get on their radar. So hopefully one day I can test stuff like this and not just borrow it and uh, have to return it. Um, and also, if you do want to see me review a piece of gear, I'm getting a lot of requests for Vaughn Chess reach out to the manufacturer and let them know. Um, Cause I'm not buying any chests to be totally honest for a while. I'm just bought the Kineski. So if you want to see that, reach out to them, let them know that you want to see me review the gear and we'll see what happens. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy.